part of the show where we really don't know how this is going to go. We're going to ask you to sit back, relax, and enjoy what we like to call the one minute pitch. So we've got our participants here, and the idea is pretty simple. You have 60 seconds on the stage with one slide to promote your idea, your product, your service. When the screen behind me turns to applause, it's all your job to clap and help our, uh, our one pitchers, our one minute pitchers off the stage. So judging our one minute pitch, we have Mayor Mike Clay, we have Chamber of Commerce representative Dana Strong, who we met earlier, and the city's new general manager of development services, James Steiber, who we also met earlier. So judges, you've got your official judging table, your official judging pens, and I'm going to ask our very first contestants, George and Yolanda Broderick, to come up. We're going to go for medium heights here. Yeah. We didn't realize that this is a contest. <laughs> of course it's a contest. Uh, welcome everyone. Have you ever heard this? We hired this guy during the interview, but on the job he sucks. <laughs> we don't know what to do. Or, I've got this application, I haven't got a clue if the guy can do the job or not. How do I decide if he can actually do the work? The people on my team, they look busy, but they never get anything done. <laughs> what do I do to improve this? These and other issues are all too common in business today. We can help. I'm George. I'm Yolanda. Our specialty is in making sure that businesses are efficient and effective. Whether you have two or 200 employees, one product, or a variety of products, we will work with you to clarify what's wrong and what would work in a practical, doable solutions to improve your situation and your business. We're YJB Business Services. Give us a call. Thank you. <laughs> nervous at all. They've got the hang of this. We're going to invite our next picture up isn't sitting in their seat with their name on it. Is Chris Avern with us in the audience? Oh, you're sitting back there. Come on up, Chris. You have 60 seconds. <laughs> well, this is Mike. Um, despite appearances, we're not related. Uh, well, maybe, but way back. Um, and uh, one day while Mike was busy climbing around in his family tree, he, um, he didn't look happy and I said, Mike, what's the problem? And he said, you know, my kids are driving me nuts. They're driving me bananas. And, and every time I look for activities for them to do, I search the entire internet and it takes a long time. So, so it would be fantastic if, if all the activities were in one place. And I said, you know, Mike, that's a great idea. We could put together a website with all the kids' activities in the Toronto City. And there would be parents could come along and, and search all the activities in one place and they wouldn't have to waste a lot of time. Um, we could uh, put on the community centre activities, we could get local businesses who offer kids' activities involved, we could uh, generate revenue through advertising, and we would keep all the, all the little monkeys in the, the Tri Cities busy and uh, active. <laughs> um, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, Chris, we now have the shop local Port Moody contingent. I see Celia, Yvette, and Lisa here. Come on up for your 60 second pitch. Business, you are doing a lot of different things. You're supporting a local business that is 
volunteers in the community, gives back to the community, reintroduces the um, money that they make, the profits back into the community, and also we create local jobs. Well, Starbucks, they donate to the community, and they have uh, jobs that are also local as well. Tell us what's different about you. You're absolutely right. Starbucks, they donate money, they contribute to the community, and they create local jobs. But if Starbucks weren't there, there'd be a local independent coffee shop sitting there doing the same thing. focus it to small to medium-sized businesses and help them get to the next level. Unlike other marketing companies, I don't just focus on one area of marketing, like a Facebook page and, sorry, I didn't know I was in the mic, <laughs> a Facebook page or a website. I look at the overall picture, take a bigger picture of it, look at, you know, who is your real customer, what's your budget, what are your resources, and what are your business goals this year, because we all know we can't do everything in marketing. We just don't have the time yourself to run our business. So the bottom line is that I maximize your budget and your efforts. And focus on your Thank you, Jana. So, a big thank you to all of our one-minute pictures. You all did a fantastic job. You can see our esteemed judges are huddling, debating, discussing, and they're going to come up here and let us know who's going to win. The winner is actually going to get fitness access packs to passes to our recreation center. So you guys can all work off some of that energy that you've got. While we're waiting for the decision, I'm going to take this opportunity to give some special thanks to people that have helped contribute this evening. Port Woody Flowers has put together those beautiful flower arrangements. <laughs> And once again, Christine from Christine's Catering Company continues to do an exceptional job providing us with little tasties and nibblies. We have some exceptional members of the Economic Development Committee, but we also have some exceptional staff members that have helped put this event on this evening. Uh, we have Chris Leon and we have Margot Davis, who are both in the house. They're probably outside organizing something. From our communication staff, we need to give a, a huge shout out to Dave Teixeira, Leslin Johnson, Jillian McCaver, and Scott Jakes, who've done all the PowerPoint, the social media, the Facebook, everything that you've seen to promote this event. And it comes from our in-house service, which is exceptional. And the guys upstairs who are making us look and sound great, uh, Levi Peace was here earlier in the day. We have Michael Gonzalez and Matt Zita. So let's give them a, a round of applause. Okay, that was really hard because we're just here to support local business and we're so happy that we have so many great local businesses, so how could we possibly decide? We ended up going on the message rather than the presentation. Yes. And thinking that the people that did support our local uh, community and involve everybody in it is Shop Local. Yay! I'm not going to say it, but you might use this opportunity to wrap up your pitch quickly. Yay! We get three minutes now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Reporter Celia, did you have any other questions? <laughs> 
Where's my sheet? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know how much of that money stays in our local community, Lisa? Well, well, well let's me talk to Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, <laughs> they show you that 2.6 times more profits stay in the community when you shop at a local business as opposed to a multinational brand. Woo. <laughs> Your next question okay. is... I'm back, so... <laughs> okay, so Port Moody is such a charming city, and it has a large number of small businesses, so why should we join? You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> this one here. Port Moody is unique and vibrant because we have so many local independent businesses, and we need to stick together to make sure that it stays that way, that we are desirable to live in, work in, and play in, and we need to work together to keep us local, keep us small, keep us unique, and try and keep out the big box multinational companies. Woo. And we have an AGM that's coming up. Um, tell us maybe more about it. It's in November. Yeah. Tuesday, November 18th. If anybody wants to come out and find out more, please join us. You can look for information on our Facebook page or on our website, shopglobalportmoney.ca. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. That's actually the end of the awards. We're going to do some door prizes and I hope you guys remember some of the messages from earlier this evening. If you want an honorable mention, we're going to invite you up to the front of the stage. You'll get your certificates. We can do some photography. Actual award winners, we're going to have you out front by the Golden Spike Award. Actually, it's not a Golden Spike it's a Golden Spike Award. We call it Port Moody's Oscar statue. And we'll get some official photographs there. Uh, we've got dessert and coffee lined up out in the Galleria. But I wanted you to know we've got fabulous staff here um, from Tri-Cities uh, Community Television. We've got two cameras and this is the fourth year that they have come out to actually film this event so it can be shared on Channel 4 for those uh, of our residents that weren't able to join us. Tonight's show is actually going to be shown on October 30th at 3 p.m. Um, you'll be able to catch it online at portmoody.ca backslash spike awards. Yay! So, door prize, so many things you can see. Here we go. <coughs> Mayor Clay, do you want to come up and help uh, give out some door prizes? While he's coming up, I, I just want to say, um, I cannot believe how this event has grown over the last number of years. It was 2001, I know some of you were here, and we did a very informal cocktail party for all business owners, and we did some forced networking, it was a little bit awkward, but everyone was here, had a really good time. In 2002, 2003, the event evolved to include more of a trade fair component. And it was really about small business owners meeting other small business owners and sharing what we do. Because it isn't always a competition. It's about helping your local uh, uh, business colleagues so we can all become successful. 2004 was the first time that we had this award. And I have to tell you, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I, I really hope that you guys all enjoy being as much a part of this as I have over the years. So, Mayor Clay, come on up. Oh. Oh. Okay. Last call for door prizes. We got three door prizes. So, right, right at the back, we're going to be a minute. Those so art donations he's taking, those are business cards for the draw. Oh, yeah. Here. Here. Our first door prize is going to be a $50 gift card for Pajo's Restaurant. That is a huge, great meal that you can enjoy in the park on a sunny day with music in the background. Then you can go for a beer across the street. And ice cream and a kayak, and you can pick up some flowers too. Secretly inside, I'm hoping that this goes to somebody from Sean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, a business that I'm sorry to see leaving Port Moody, and Vanessa, we really appreciated your, having your excellent food here, and we're going to miss you here, those of us. After all that, I get the pick. Okay. I looked into it. Oh, I can see our card. Right. Oh. Okay.
Sam Lufton. Oh, you get a picnic right. in the park. Okay, we have two more. How many people in the room own or have seen the Tracks in Time Port Moody history book? Okay, you know what? Let's hope one of you guys doesn't win it because these are amazing books. It's a hard copy book that the Port Moody Heritage Society's put together and it celebrates and acknowledges the first 75 years of, of Port Moody's history. The pictures in it are amazing and you look at some of the landmarks and what they looked like so long ago. So our first winner, oh wow, he's also a, another winner here, uh, LFT, Munu Hicken Gabera, you won a book. It's a lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> this is another version of the Tracks and Time book. We, uh, we love to support the Port Moody Heritage Society and our Port Moody Museum. An honorable mention winner, Michael Drews, Beyond the Grave. Come on. <laughs> That's our agenda for the evening. I was hoping to get you guys out of here at 9.05. It's 9.13. I hope you don't mind that we've dragged it on a little bit. It's certainly not as bad as the Academy Awards. Like I said, we have dessert, we have coffee, and we have photo opportunities. Thank you. Thank you all for coming to help celebrate this is important.